Are people strong? Debatable. When someone gets lynched, does anybody stand against it, whether they approve or not? That thought has been keeping me awake at night. I walk slowly, considering these thoughts. No need to rush like the child I used to be. I enjoy the view of my village. It reminds me of old times, of happy times. I remember every detail of my village. It's comforting to be home. The university in Craiova didn't change me, but it taught me that as time passes by, you lose faith in the old saying, things can't get any worse. Mama, it's me! I'm back! Oh, Andre, I missed you. Is something wrong? Were the people in the city cruel to you? Don't worry, Mama. Mr. Raul, the office manager, and the staff played some mean tricks on me before they finally sent me away, but look on the bright side. I'm home again. Come in, my boy. Soon, Mama. I'll go and see Daniela and my old friends first. I want to say hi to them right away. You go and see your friends, but be quick. I made your favorite, Sir Male. Don't be long. Okay, Ma. Alec, are you there? I remember this voice. Andre, it's been so long. How have you been? It was tough in Bucharest, so I decided to return home. How are you? I'm good. A few days ago, my brother left the village for university. He's now staying in Craiova. I'm excited for him, but I hope he'll return when he graduates. How's Nikolai? How's Vasile? I've missed you guys. We miss you too, bud. Are you going to see them now? Yes, I'm on my way to them right now. I'll see you again later. Nikolai, it's me! Oh, hi, Andre. It's good to see you. How come you're back? Things didn't work out for me in Bucharest. I decided to return home. I have just arrived and wanted to stop by and say hi. Hi. I'm visiting all my old friends. We'll talk again soon.
Who is it? Who's there? It's me, Andre. I'm home. Oh, hi, Andre. Good to see you again. What brings you back here? Well, city life was a little hard for me. I decided it's best to come back home and live out the rest of my life in the village I love. Good, good. A smart decision. City people can be hard-hearted and cruel. It is impossible for people like us to understand them. Why don't you come into my palatool? Thank you, Vasile. I will soon. I really want to see Daniela first. She'll be so pleased to see you. Catch you later. Later, Vasile. Daniela! Andre! It's been too long. You're telling me? How are you? It must be strange being back in our small village after a life in the big city. Not strange at all. It's just great. I feel great. And the best part, I can be closer to you. Why don't we go for a little walk? Sounds sweet. Let's do it. Let's go for a gentle walk. A slow pace through the countryside, outside the village. The excitement of a walk with a sweetheart can make us forget everything. Even our mothers waiting at home. It is so hard to take responsibility over excitement. When we are young, love feels like a shot of strong tuika. Every time we forget our responsibilities, we resolve not to forget them again. It is hard for someone who hasn't seen his darling for years Especially when the relationship is so new and fresh. The time when we believe we deserve them, and they deserve us. We are usually carefree in the early stage of a relationship.
So, do you want to tell me about your time in Bucharest? I'd rather not think about that now. It was all messed up. <laughs> so, are you sorry you made me wait here? Maybe. Are you sorry you didn't come with me? Maybe, but our village kept me in good spirits while you were gone. So, you weren't in a terrible situation like I was. Not exactly. Suspicious is smart. We have the ability to choose to be either. Controlling our thoughts is difficult, but we always do what we please, whether consciously or subconsciously. If a man does not engage with the world, then he cannot fight to make things the way he would like them to be. He can only hope to be content with the way things are. Because all things must change, he will only achieve fleeting happiness. Fighting for change might be hard, but it brings constant satisfaction with life.
Some people find romance essential. Others find it useless. Romance means different things to different people. For some, there is romance in imprisonment, looking at the infinite freedom waiting beyond. Again, it is our own choices that make us either happy or smart. The more we find romance, the happier we feel. We all want to fool ourselves some of the time. However, that will not last. While it develops for some time, it also fades in time. A water tank that is both filled and leaking. I want you to close your eyes for a while. Okay. How do you feel? I feel cold and empty. Mm -hmm. All alone. There's nothing and no one to fucking live for. This is how I felt without you. Yeah? I never want to be apart from you again. We should be together always. We should make this thing between us permanent. When will we live together? Soon. Now that I'm home again, all things will be as we want them and our life will be easy. We'll have a beautiful wedding this summer. We'll be happy and together forever. Sounds sweet. Let's do it.
I have a question for you. Shoot. But please, be honest when you answer. Okay? Would you still want to be with me if I were very ugly? Yeah, I suppose. But I mean, really, really ugly. How ugly is that exactly? So it would be a question of how ugly I was, is it? No, I just wanted you to make it clear. Why? Because I have to know. I need to see the truth before my eyes before I decide. I can't agree to the unknown. Why? I mean, I would still be me. Why can't you give me a definite answer? I just... Please. I think I want to be left alone for a while. But, Daniela, I... I said, leave me alone. Please. As we progress through life, there are more challenging situations waiting for us. We enter the time of challenge, and sometimes the transition is slow. But sometimes, it is so sudden you forget the life you had only moments ago. Overcoming greater difficulties brings greater satisfaction, and we feel stronger for the effort. We simply forget that we are one step closer to the end. But the end does not necessarily mean death. Sometimes it is the end of a struggle or the end of peace. The beginning of a difficult stage of life is inevitable for those who fear danger. We like to be aware of what's being planned for us. Knowledge brings confidence and security. 
and we are warned about them, but they are not warned about us, we like to believe it is a fair situation. Sadly, nature is not fair, nor the lives we live. God moves in mysterious ways. Some of us want to take his place. When we have the power of society behind us, we believe we are gods. We feel invincible when we have many followers crushing whoever attempts to stand in our way. So, Seko is back. He thinks he will have an easy life in our village. Let's make things hard for him. We will do this one step at a time. First, we'll place him in conflict, and then we bring him peace. We repeat this over and over again. He'll be confused and uneasy. We will break him. So, how should we start? I know what to do. Let's tell him we saw a lynx near the village. We'll ask for his help to kill the animal. We'll tell him we can't do it without him. We will make him proud and confident. We will all go together, but we'll leave the group one by one, giving different excuses. And finally, he will be all alone. Yeah, he'll be afraid to be all alone with the animal stalking nearby. But eventually, he'll realize we've played a trick on him. He'll be angry and humiliated. This is gonna be awesome. Guys, this might be fun for us, but don't you think it's a bit cruel? Are you with us or with Sicko? Of course I'm with you guys. Good, then don't mess this up. Yeah, don't mess this up.
We have many names. The one our mother gives us, the one our friends give us, the one our enemies give us. Even when we forget someone's real name, we can still remember the name we gave them. It is a striking example on how powerful children can be. When they damage someone, the damage lasts and has the potential to ruin a whole life. And this is why the psychologists ask their patients to remember their childhood. There are clues hidden deep down in our subconscious. If we search there, we can find our friends and our enemies. just sucks. Mine has better swords. They aren't better, they're shorter. I'm not even sure they're swords. They look more like the forks in my grandfather's house. Hey Alec, let's throw the ninjas in the air. See whose will fly higher. I'm in! On three. One, two, three! <laughs> this blue ninja is mine now. Come on, Vasile, you already have the red one. Give it back to me. No way. I said it's mine. Don't you try to take it back. If you don't give it back, I'll tell Andre that you stole his red car. Okay, okay. It has scratches on it anyways. Honey, why don't you go out and play with your friends? I don't want to. They don't look like they want me to play with them. Of course they want you. Why wouldn't they? Come on, put on your coat and go join your friends. Take them some of the cookies I made. They're fresh out of the oven. One of the reasons we get into trouble is because we can't say no. We accept an offer, and shortly after we regret it. There are many reasons we don't refuse. Enthusiasm, fear. Sometimes our responsibilities force us into hasty decisions, and we choose the wrong path. Our greatest responsibilities are our children. We need to listen to them. Teach them. Protect them. We need to learn from them, too. It is not always possible to know what is happening in their lives. Letting go is hard for the children, but it is almost impossible for the parent.
Last night, I heard Sicko talking about us with his mother at home. They're literally talking behind our backs! What an asswipe. We should make him think we're stalking him, but not give him any solid proof. Just let him see and feel how guilty he is. Let him feed the greatest hate he has ever known. Seems like we're doing a little too much, but whatever. Didn't we talk about this before? I think Alec is a little too soft for a man. Am I wrong, Vasile? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, laugh all you want, guys. I didn't say anything. I'm just thinking out loud. No need for a protracted preamble. Let's jump straight onto the subject. I believe that privacy is a person's most important right. Punishment must always fit the crime, but robbing a person of their privacy is unacceptable. Look inside a soul and you will find things you do not understand. However horrifying the secrets you expose, they are not so great a crime as stealing someone's privacy. You can imprison a man for life. You can fine him and take his last penny. You can beat him to the very edge of life. But taking his right to privacy never seems fair. Who decides 